An orthopedic surgeon usually works on bones and joints. So sports injuries, ACL tears, meniscal tears, uh, we fix those in surgery. I do a lot of joint replacements, hip and knee surgeries where there's arthritis and we um, replace those joints or I replace those joints. Um, and also broken bones. People break their arms, their legs, their hips. Uh, I fix those as well. A typical day for me is a pretty long day. I usually get up around 5.30. I go up to the hospital and I have rounds with the patients. After that, I start surgery around 7.15, 7.30. Uh, and then we operate um, back and forth. Between cases, there's very little time because there's one patient, when we're finishing up one surgery, the other patient's getting ready. And so we walk from one room to the next. So lunch may be five or 10 minutes. And then we usually operate, or I operate till about seven o'clock. Um, and, then, and then I go home or sometimes if I'm able to, I'll try to go to the gym as well. The biggest challenge with my job is uh, the balance between working a lot and trying to do a good job and trying to help uh, people as you can and balancing it, with, balancing it with my home life. I don't think I do a very good job of it uh, and work consumes me a lot and I, do, and I, I love what I do but I think sometimes uh, I have to really make a concerted effort to uh, find time at home as well with my wife. There's really two people that have influenced me most. Um, one is uh, Bill Griffin. I did my fellowship in hip and knee replacements with him, and he's in Charlotte. And I loved his demeanor, what he taught me, how to approach a patient, how to take care of a patient, how to be compassionate. Um, and it was really important, and I really emulate him a lot in a lot of the surgeries that I do, the way I do them, the way I, I take care of patients before and after. And he's been a really important part of my life, and I still keep in contact with him. The other person that's really been important is my father. He, uh, when I was very young, we came overseas from India, and he he, to he tells me the story. We literally had fourteen dollars, and he they left. I was about five years old. They left India, my my parents, for me to have a better life here, and for him to have the courage to do what he did to go to different states. It was so much hardship, and still be able to accomplish what he did, and to provide me the opportunity to do what I do. It's really important and, it, and I look up to him for that. When I'm not at work and I have a lot of stress or I need to unwind, I like to go to the gym. That's really important and it keeps me active, it keeps me strong in my work because I call my work a little bit of a blue collar orthopedics because of uh, the, it's, it's hard work all day. And so the gym is a great way for me to unwind. I listen to a little music at that time. I also, believe it or not, like to listen to uh, or watch uh, episodes of Seinfeld. And then um, the other thing I enjoy is uh, washing and waxing my car.